Hi folks, welcome back. Working with pages, changing the header layouts. In your package, especially if you have a pro package, you'll have a folder in there called sliders. And inside that page will be example pages containing all the different slider elements or the header elements that we've included with the package. Now you can take those header elements and you can paste them into existing pages. So for example, in this case here, we have our services page. We want to spice it up a little bit. We want to put the video player in there, just like this page has right here. So in order to do that we're just going to copy a link to the style sheet for the video player and we're going to copy the code for the video player and that's all it's going to take. So let's just jump right in here. First thing we're going to do is the services page is in the root folder. We want to make sure the video slider page where we're copying the code from is in the same place as the services page. If I had my a page somewhere in like the pages folder I would copy or drag the video slider page into that folder. The reason being is your web editor will update the links for you and you don't have to do that manually. So let's just move the video slider page into the root folder to start with. Great. Uh, let's open up the video slider page and the services page and we'll switch both to code view. And we're going to scroll up to the head of the page here on both of them. There we go. And what we're going to do is from the video page or the page that you're copying from, you're going to go to the header.css section here and we're going to grab the link, copy it, go to our page that we're putting our header in, we're going to find the header.css. You may or may not have a link here. If you're replacing one type of header with another, just overwrite that with the link that you've copied. If there is no link there, just paste it in. Go back to your component page, in this case the video slider, scroll on down and we're looking for primary component. Underneath that you'll have a div container and typically we'll have some sort of a class that identifies it. It may or may not depending on the component. Inside that are all the bootstrap framework, the rows and containers, and then finally the include of the library page that actually loads the different component. So if you're not really sure what's, what's what, right in here it will tell you which page is being loaded in the video slider. Oh, okay, that makes sense. What you want to do is you want to copy this container fluid class and everything within it. The easiest way to do that is right click on the container where it says container fluid, just right click on the div, use select tag and copy. Okay, control C in the keyboard, edit, copy, whatever your preferred method. Okay, let's just close that down. Back on the services page, we're going to scroll on down. We're going to find that primary component region once again. Now here we have one and all we have and tucked inside there is a little H1 tag that says services. So we're going to right click on the container fluid and select paste or edit. Let's uh, select our tag first. There we go. Edit paste. So now we've copied in the video slider container and the entire region for that. Let's just save our page, file save, and let's go back to our editor here and let's go to our services page and just hit the refresh button and there it is. And now our services page has the video component within the header of the page. And that's really all you need to do. The reason you may want to copy and paste these is perhaps you have a page you, which you really like the content region but you want to have a different type of header in there. And that's the beauty of these bootstrap themes is you can copy the different headers from one page to another creating very unique layouts for your website. As a sort of a tidy up thing when I'm done I try to remember to take my um, layout page and pop it back in the sliders folder. The only reason being is I personally like to keep my working pages in the root folder in my sliders folder, I like to keep the pages where I can just copy and paste the code from. I don't like to edit these in any way uh, because I want to keep the code sort of pure. I, mean, I, can always, I can always copy the pages in from a copy of my, uh, my backup or a copy of the template, but I like to keep these pages in here unedited and nice and clean so that I can uh, copy and paste the code at some time down uh, in the future if I need to. And that's really all there is to it.